What's good, family? So mash the like button, subscribe, and lick off the bell. So, as you man saw at the start of this video, Terence Bud Crawford is training a Mia Skype, aka a Mia Queen Khan, on the pads for his February absolutely banger showdown. What would you call it? A Derby showdown. With Kel, Kelly Brook. Now, I wasn't going to do a video on this, but I've got to say, historically speaking, Amir Khan, as we all know, hasn't been known for his chin. Yeah, we we can we can all agree on that. But what he has been known for is his speed. Now, he look, I don't know, maybe it's me, but he just looked a bit slow, man. His hands look a bit slow. Amir Khan's known for rattling. Maybe it's just a bad angle. Maybe it's just a bad clip. But Amir Khan, in my mind, was known. He wasn't known for power, but he was known for just rapid hands. His hands look. He looked old, really. Is it a shock? He looks old. Not. Not obviously. It's not a shock. <laughs> He's been old. He's been KO'd. He's been quit. But I just thought I'd make the video and say that. I mean. He's wheeled in Terence Crawford for some help. Crawford ain't going to make no difference. If you're shot to bits, and Khan to me looks shot to bits, he looks slow, man. Seriously. Don't forget, this is Mr. Khan. Mr. Ah! He goes, ah! You know, <laughs> super quick hands. And the worst thing is, he's not even that old. When you think about Pacquiao, Pacquiao was still sharp. At 40, 43, this dude, Khan, man, he's slow as, slow as molasses. Super slow. Hitting the pads, hitting the pad pad with Crawford. And I think I think Amir Khan wheeled in Crawford trying to get some of that magic dust to wash off on him. That's what I think it is. I think he's trying to get some of the magic dust to wash off on him. Listen, Khan. I respect you to some extent for taking this fight, even though it's five, six years late. No word of a lie. Seven years ago, Kell Brook won the world championship. This fight is six, seven years old. And it shows. But then again, I'm roasting Khan, but we haven't seen Kell Brook, and I'm not being funny. Kell Brook's last fight against Crawford was a whopper. Yeah, I think he got knocked out of a jab on it, and it wasn't even a powerful one. Kell, Kell, got, Kell Brook got clipped on the top of the head, and he he was just chin to pieces. So there is an argument, who's more, who's got a worse chin? Seriously, there's a genuine argument now, who's got a worse chin? Khan or Kel? That is, I don't care what no one says. Don't get me wrong. I actually back Kel to win the fight. I think he's just more stable. But then again, seriously, you have to watch the Terence Crawford fight. He did give to me for a few rounds. He did give Terence Crawford some questions, but that, that chin is, is gone. And he got clipped on the top of the head, and he was literally zonked. He didn't have no consciousness left. So, I guess really my worries and concerns about. Khan being slow or whatever, they're kind of irrelevant. Khan's not going in there with a top guy. He's going in there with a man who is a shot ass himself. Kel has two broken eyes. He got no chin left. Cause the thing is, people don't realise when you have when you have broken eye sockets, your head and your chin, it's all one bone. The human skull is one bone. So when you got when you're getting breaks in the eye part, the whole structure gets weak. Do you know what I'm saying? It's almost like in F1 racing, you have crumple zones. So when the cars crash, they all fall apart. It's like... <laughs> Kell Brook's got built-in crumple zones in his head. So when he gets punched, the whole lot just falls apart. And that's why I believe he gets chin now so easy. Because you hit him on top of the head, and then the cracks in his eyes start start bending and warping. And he just fall, it just kind of triggers his chin. And he ends up on a heap on the floor. So... This fight for sure is, it's the, it has intrigue for all the wrong reasons, to be honest. It has, I, I, honestly, I think the first person to land is going to go out. That's what I think, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> this really has got a Jake Paul kind of feel to it, yeah? It's got that kind of YouTube boxing feel. No, no real substance to it, but who knows, maybe I'm going to be wrong, maybe Khan... He's got big gloves on in training and maybe 
you're not trying to be super quick. And because Amir Khan, in my mind, wasn't known as a banger. He's not known as a man who goes in there and puts in big shots. He's known as a man who just does that, ah, 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 that, that, that flurry stuff. But then again, Khan's known to get caught doing the whole flurry thing. Maybe is he learnt his lesson? I don't think so. Khan's renowned for getting hit, and all of his strategy goes flying out the window. No word of a lie. I remember when Khan went to work with Virgil Hunter, and I was gassed. I actually started thinking that Khan was going to do something. I don't know why. I think it's because of Andre Ward. I thought, wow. Imagine Amir Khan with, with Virgil Hunter. He's going to do this, he's going to do that. And obviously, I mean, what did he do? Apart from try and beg Floyd for a fight, he didn't do nothing. So, it's one of them ones, listen. We'll see what happens anyway. It's not long now. What, a month? So, maybe Terence Crawford can do something. Terence Crawford's been in there with both of them. Is it a sign? Kale, I mean, is it a sign Amir Khan trying to look for some help outside of himself? Who knows? What I do know is... For years, Khan was shook to death of Kell Brook, that's a fact. But, from what I'm hearing, that what what got Kell Brook this fight, yeah, was the Terence Crawford fight. Khan, seeing how vulnerable Kell was, Khan now thinks Kell Brook is sweet enough. Khan, I'm hearing from people close to Khan that Khan is saying to himself, all I've got to do is put one on that chin and he's going to end up zombified again. That's what I'm hearing Khan thinking. And maybe that's why he's not flowing, throwing flurries. Maybe that's why he's focusing on singles now. He's just going to go in there, put his chin down and try and put one on Kelly. Who knows? Who wins the fight? In fact, that might be worth some coins. Actually, no, it won't. No, scrap that. <laughs> these man, these man's chin is too vulnerable. Yeah, too chinny. So, we'll see how it plays out anyway. It's interesting, in my opinion.